Aloha. Today we're going to do something that you probably have done in the past, but it's a great technique. It's doing some leaf printing. It kind of takes you back to your childhood days in grammar school. Um, a lot of times people will finish a nice um, flower painting and then they don't quite know what to do with the background. Well, I was just playing around with this recently and so I'm going to show you what I do and um, give you some tips on how to do this. So anyways, what I did was I went outside and I grabbed some leaves from my backyard and these are actually from a hibiscus. So you'll get the exact kind of shape that you want. And what you're going to do is take some watercolor paint, maybe some yellows, greens, blues, all different colors and just kind of paint it on like that. Purples, all different colors. Okay, and then try to place it gently on your painting without everything running too much somewhere. So we'd like to have a leaf. And then you want to rub it. So try to rub the vein so that it prints. And then just kind of take what's on your brush and maybe go around it a little bit. So we get some interesting background stuff happening here. And it makes the shape of the leaf kind of happen. So this is a good thing when you're stuck with backgrounds, especially for flowers. Any kind of thing like that, okay? So there's one. And you see it's kind of, kind of wet, so maybe next time I want to do it a little bit more dry. That's okay. And then what you can do is you can take the back of your brush and you can pull out some veins. If you didn't get enough veins or anything like that, you can do it now. Maybe I see a little leaf over there. Okay, so now this one will try to go on a little bit more dry. This is a really wet leaf. Reds. Go ahead and try some different colors. You can never have enough in the background. This leaf right here. Press it down. down. That's the color over here. It's all about making some cool shapes. Let's see how that one turns out. Oh, it's a little bit better. Not so wet. I like that one the way it is. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and, let's see, do a few more, and then I'm going to dry it, and then I'm going to show you some other tips to pull this thing together. Okay, now you see that I've um, added a few more leaves there, and I'm going to show you how to pull this together. So now you can come in and kind of add a little bit more color to the inside of the leaves. I like, I like to leave a little bit of the white showing. Gives it some highlights and makes it a little bit more, makes the values a little bit brighter. Do some contrasting colors here. See, a little bit more purple up in here. So you're basically looking for just some hints of the leaves and some of the texture that you've put on there with the, the leaf imprint. And then what we're going to do is we're going to try to pull this all together to make a nice interesting background for our hibiscus. Okay. Let's go ahead and paint some more. Put some darks around this hibiscus. Pull some out. And this is where you can kind of fix up your the crinkliness of your edges of your flowers when you go around it like that. Okay. Just makes for a really nice colorful background. You can just play play like this. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to stop the camera. I'm going to work on it some more, and I'll show you what I got in a few minutes. Okay, now that's a colorful painting, if I've ever seen one. It's fun playing with these leaves because it really lets you loosen up and just have a lot of fun. Well, I hope I've given you some ideas and that you will take them and be creative and actually have a lot of fun doing it. Keep on pulling stuff out here. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video, and we'll see you next time. Aloha.